Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player survival Minecraft building world. <laughs> Today, uh, we're going to be working in here again. So I'm going to get started straight away. And what I want to do is I want to get going on some of the interior stuff, which we didn't get to in the last episode. And I think it's important to get that stuff done because else we'll just hang around for ages and we'll just have an empty, an empty room. And that's not really too much fun. I also want to do a few things inside that are a little bit weird. I don't think they're going to fit together. I've, uh, I've messed around with it a bit. I think I kind of messed up a bit last episode by making this building a little bit too small, but that's all right. That's, uh, that's all a part of the challenge and we'll need a few of those. We're making some hoppers for really non-hopper reasons, weirdly enough. Uh, but yes, we're going to get going on that bit inside there. Now, before we keep going on any further while I'm busy doing this stuff, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone for your support in the last episode. You guys really seem to like this building, first of all, which was really, really awesome. And I love it when I'm not the only one who enjoys the uh, the look of the things that I make. <laughs> and that's really cool. And I like to see that you guys... Um, I like to see when you guys leave a comment tell me that you guys like it or tell me stuff to fix on it. I really do appreciate it quite a lot. Now, what I'm going to do inside here, by the way, is I'm going to build up some stuff that I think will will be appropriate for making um, the the brewing process thing out here. Oh, actually, can we do that? I don't think we can do my idea. Don't worry, I'll carry on. Uh, yeah, so, oh, no, what am I doing? Man, that's, uh, that's messed up. There we go, fixed it. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, what I was saying, uh, in the last episode, you guys were super supportive, and not only that, it was really, really awesome to see that we had so many views so quickly it's it's really awesome when we bump up to a thousand views on a video faster than than usual i'm not too sure about these maybe we can put some iron bars or something in there um i'll have to have a look uh excuse me guys i am losing my voice so uh that's i'll have to every now and then jump i don't think you guys might have even noticed <laughs> that i just uh cut there and came back uh but what i was saying is obviously you guys were super awesome <laughs> it was really cool to see that there was so much support and not only that um, about the little resource pack that we've got going on, everyone seems to really, really like that. We've got a few people who are still on edge, not too sure about it just yet, uh, but I, I can understand that, and I, I hope that perhaps one day we will be able to convert some of them over, but I think it's, uh, it's a, a valid opinion. A lot of people who might not be too much of a fan of it have valid opinions on why not, and I, I, um, I do appreciate that feedback as well. So, what I'm going to do with that texture pack, uh, resource pack, whatever it is, uh, we are going to be... Is this right? That's right. Yeah, let's try this. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to be putting it up online because I've been asked for it a few times now, and I definitely will be adding it onto, like, the internet. <laughs> I will be giving it to you guys if you guys do want it. So, uh, that will be a matter of time. I've just got to get some stuff together, and then everything will be up and running. And I mean, it's not really too much stuff, but if you guys want to have the same colors as me, that's definitely fine, and I'll be able to work that out, hopefully, soon. Uh, now, what I'm doing here, by the way, is I thought I would be able to get this stuff to work a bit better than it is, but it just doesn't seem it. It just doesn't seem it. I've got some of these dials here to make it look as if we've got some pressure gauges and stuff like that, but really, I couldn't get too much stuff here working too well for me. And I think downstairs is going to be where we're going to be doing the main, main cooler stuff, I would imagine, or at least stuff that will work a little bit better. The one problem I have in particular with this, obviously, like, we can't, we don't have any finer blocks to get into, like, the little nooks and crannies in there. But the other issue is that, oh, there they are. The other issue is that we don't have any horizontal blocks that will allow us, oh, that could be cool, uh, that will allow us to make pipes. You know, it, it, there's only blocks that make it look like they go up, for instance, fences. Uh, we can actually grab some of these fences and see if, Perhaps we can get fences to look like pipes, because what is happening here, by the way? So, let's think of this. This is a brewery, right? So, this is where the water and everything uh, is mashed up, put into here. So, there's this big, I'm assuming, pressurized container that takes in all of the hops, and I think it's hops, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not really too familiar with this, but put stuff in, stuff gets broken down, put into the boiling thing here. So, this is where we're going to fill up with a bit of water. It's going to be a boiler over here, a little kettle, and then from there it gets put into a fermenter and then filtered out into a, uh, a bucket or a barrel or something like that. And I think, oh, this could actually work. This could be all right. Yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, but yeah, then eventually from there it goes into barrels and 
all that sort of stuff. I'm, I know I've oversimplified it, but really, I'm not going to go into too much more than that because that's as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll be able to work this out, I think. Let's put these in here. Yep, that looks better. And then we can also put one of these here to make it look like it's doing something. Is that all I have? I think that's all I have. Yeah, that's all I have. Now, this was what I was hoping to see, like, if we could get this to work. If we put this in here, and I don't think it's going to work, but we will try it anyway. See, it just doesn't look like pipes. I mean, it could, like, pipes like that, I guess. Nether brick might be a bit better, but I'm not a fan of how purple it goes. There. Let's try this, maybe something like this. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I saw that. Let's, uh, let's get that up over there. Alright, so, I don't know. I don't know if that really does it for me, but I guess we'll have to, ca we'll have to keep it. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do is I wanted to have downstairs, like a downstairs area where we store all the barrels that are being made here. And I think, can we take these out? We can take these out. Uh, can we take this one? We don't want to actually do that. I think I need three blocks to be able to do a proper staircase that turns. So maybe down this end. Oh, we can't do it down this end. Okay, this is interesting. I'm going to have to work out a way of getting a downstairs area in here. Or, you know what we could do? We could maybe just put it in over here. Can we cut that away? Assuming there's no grass block here, I'm guessing I'm good. Yeah, we can, we can work this out. We can definitely work this out. In fact, I'll go straight down from here. Perfect. All right, so I'll clear out a bit of a room. And what the plan is in the room downstairs is I want to put some barrels, because I've, I've managed to do small barrels before, and I've just thought it would, it would be a bit of fun to get some large barrels in here, and I want to test out my idea for barrels, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess what's going to come, but if not, you're going to be surprised. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought that would be really cool to try out, so I'll get some stuff together, I'll get this room cleared out, and maybe just decorate it a little bit on the walls, and then we'll be back. Okay, did I say I was going to be back with the stuff inside? Uh, I may have uh, told a little bit of a lie because what we are doing is we are having to look at some shaders. If you if you haven't noticed, the rest of the world starts to load in. Uh, but yeah, this is a shader pack, and I wanted to quickly stop here and show you guys because I was I don't know how I came across it. I don't know why I was uh, looking for shader packs the other day, but I came across this, which is done by the same person who does the other shader pack which we use normally, which is. Sildur's Vibrant Shaders, and what this is, is Sildur's Enhanced Shaders, I'm pretty sure. I'll leave a link in the description to the page where all the things are. Uh, if I forget, please let me know, because it's so easy to forget when you when you say it in a video, right? I say it now, in about an hour or two hours or three hours from now, I'm going to be editing and uploading the video, and then, I mean, it's, it's completely flown out of my mind. So, if I forget, please let me know. I would, I would hate to um, tell you guys that and not do it. Uh, but this is the shader pack that I wanted to show you guys. And the reason why I was quite impressed with this and decided I would show what you what is uh, what is going on is because it doesn't go into too much, like, darkness. Let's, let's, let me show you, for instance. Let's just go to a darker... Let's go to a, an area that is currently uh, relatively dark. Let's go in here. I haven't actually done anything here. I just kind of thought about it on my way here. So in here, look at this. This looks good. This is still nice and bright. We can see stuff. You can see that there's a little bit of shaders going on. Now I'm going to switch over, and you can see that all of this is so much more darker, or much darker. And we'll go to an even darker place over here. Let's go down into... Hmm, where's a, where's a relatively dark room? Maybe this one. This will be pretty dark, I would assume. Not really. Okay, <laughs> nothing's proving my point today. <laughs> Normally, this stuff is way too dark. Okay, in here, probably. Although I've been wrong the, the other 10 times, so let's, let's see how this goes. Uh, so let's go in here. There we go. You see what I mean? Like, you can't see much indoors. It's very beautiful outside. I will, I will tell you that. This is a, a very beautiful looking shader pack. I love it so much. But I feel like this other one is a lot better for us. Like, a lot better when we record indoors, outdoors. And I'm feeling like we might be using this for our 20 episode uh, little tour we've got coming up, which is actually coming around very, very soon. It's a, it's very funny how every time I feel like I've just done one, and then all of a sudden we've got another 20 episodes out of the way, and I'm like, what's this? It just goes so quickly, and I, I, I obviously absolutely love it. So that's um that's always great when I do come around to them, but it's, it's just so funny how quick it can come around. Okay, that's looking all right. There we go. 
Perfect. All right. I thought uh, while we while we've got it, because obviously texture packs, um, shader packs look the best out with the in the outdoors because you've got all the trees, you've got the nature, just everything's working so well for them. So I thought we may as well do a little bit of stuff here and add a bit of nature to the place. Let's let's go down here. Um, the idea with the sand, by the way, I was going to put sand in here, but I'll probably end up doing that uh, without without recording because that's not going to be too much fun. So let's add in some oak leaves and stuff like that, some bushes and all those sorts of things. And also, I want to add in a few more flowers because I feel this area is a little bit too green and bland. You know, it just doesn't have any colors in it. Oh, this over here, by the way, that is something you don't want. Oh, but I don't have, I'll have to, I'll have to remember to come back to that, which I'm going to forget. But I'm going to have to remember to come back to that tree over there and fix up the bottom because else we've just got a floating tree and I could not stand to know that we have a floating tree in our in our main base at least I'm happy with the rest of the world just not our main base there we go man I don't know why but there's one actually one issue with this pack let me just the shaders when I go here look at this 19 FPS when I look this way it generally jumps up a bit maybe it's because I'm recording that it's not going up above 30 but in that direction and I, I've kind of narrowed it down to being inside of our florist. It's got, look at this, some crazy low 17 when I face this way. As soon as I face that way, at first I thought it was all the trapdoors over there, but that's fine. There. That kills me. That really does. Maybe it's to do with also the, uh, the mushroom area underneath. Maybe there's a lot of lighting and stuff that's going on there. But man, it, it's, uh, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> okay, let's, let's put in some of these now. So we'll get rid of those, put those in there. And I was going to put some lily pads in the pond as well. I thought that would be a good idea. And I want to also try ferns. I've never actually put ferns in the normal areas, but yeah, that, that looks that looks cool. Yeah, we could even make them into the larger ones if we wanted to, but I, I think we'll leave it for now. Some of these there. And I also realized one thing I'm going to have to do is go and do some flower farming. And I thought it would be a bit of a fun thing. Maybe next episode we can tackle the project of making ourselves an automatic flower farm. Just for the hell of it, it shouldn't take too long. I've uh, I've got a concept which I've seen used, and I'm sure it'll work for us quite well. We'll have to just have a look at that and uh, and see how it goes, because I'm pretty sure it'll be a, a good a good thing to get out of the way, despite the fact we might not use it too much, but it's it's just a bit of fun. As, as per usual, we're not doing anything <laughs> for much of a reason, just because we want to do it, and that's pretty much all the reason I need. Okay, let's make sure we don't get too crazy with the flowers. There, there, and I'll put one more over there. Good. And then, lily pad. Lily pads. Oh, right, two. Cool. And one there. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Alright, before we go back into normal Minecraft mode, I want to show you something which I thought was pretty cool about the texture pack that I haven't seen before. And that is, over here, let me just go around this way. Oh, well, may as well have a flyover of everything. Check how everything's looking. If this loads at all. Yeah, look at that. I love texture pack. I love shader pack so much. I'm sure I've probably said texture pack a hundred times. Uh, but let's go down here. I want to show you the nether portal when we head on over here. Check that out, how it's got this, sh this reflection going on. How cool is that? I thought that was a really awesome thing as well. Just seeing this reflection in the nether portal. If I could just keep that, I would. Alright, so now it's time to test out whether or not my thoughts on this thing working, being my idea for the barrels, uh, whether or not they do work. So let's head on down. This is, by the way, the little area that I've got built. So we've got a little way down here. Oh, I have forgotten one of those. We'll put in one of these. And as you come down here, we've got obviously the jungle wood, which I actually don't mind. I like the jungle wood. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put one barrel, I think. What do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this barrel is going to be about three wide. So we might only have space for one barrel here, but it's going to be a large barrel. So we'll, we'll give us a go. If we're going to have three wide, we'll need these here. And I want to make... Oh, actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on the ground at this level. And I can't go too much higher because anywhere above here, we're going to be taking out quite a bit of grass on the top and having to redo... That area and I just don't think that's gonna work too well because it'll have a giant uh, weird bulge coming out that way and it's just yeah that won't work too well so we'll get this in here like that and then my plan was to use these doors like this 
No, thank you. And then in the front, put in this, this. Ah, you see, there's an issue. That's a problem which we can actually fix. Because I want these doors. I think these doors do look very barrel-like. If you just, if you didn't have that circle, it would look very much like a barrel. So I think what I'll do is I'll put these in this direction here. Like that. And then I'll also have to put in these, which is going to make this barrel absolutely massive. But, but I guess it's all, all for show, you know. It's, this isn't going to be out in the exterior part of our city, and that's the part that I really do care about. The, uh, the looks of it, at least. So I think that's it's not too much of a problem. And we might actually, you know what, let's put this out. If we're going to be putting it this wide, we can't have it that wide without having it this uh, this long. So we'll make it a little bit longer. We'll have to do another one. There we go. In there. It just seems really way too big. <laughs> this is very, very large. But I understand that as soon as we do this, that will make it a lot smaller inside there. Yep, three wide. Okay, that is fine. These in here, there, 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 and... <laughs> it looks nothing like a barrel. Oh well, it was worth a try. You know what, we tried. So if anyone asks, we've got a barrel. That's, that's the barrel. In my head, this looked a lot nicer, but I don't know. Maybe, you know what, let's give it one last, one final attempt. Of course, we, we do fail, and you know what? Like, a lot of stuff you might think I always get right first time, but a lot of the time, you go through these struggles where you just, for instance, building houses, and you're pulling them down a hundred times before they end up looking anywhere near a decent house. So, uh, this is this is just all part of it. Let's, let's give us another try, all right? We'll do this on the floor. Uh, let's start off with the front piece. In fact, let's do this. Let's see how this looks when we do something like this. So we'll do there, 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 there. I know it's a bit of a waste to have it solid, but, you know, hey. Hey, it's alright. There. I feel like this looks a little bit more like a barrel. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Have we got a bit more of a barrel? I think so. We'll, we'll just go in here. And there. And there. And then, I think what we'll need to do is we'll need to quickly make some... I can actually do them over here. Uh, we'll make a crafting table, which is always good to have over there. And then we'll put some of these in. Because that is always <laughs> my solution to pretty much everything. This, this, this. And I'll have to put in another three. Uh, let's do that. There. And there, there, there. I was planning on putting in a, uh, a piece on the top there, but it obviously won't work. Now, what we'll do is we'll put in one of these. Like a little nubby thing. <laughs> oh, man, this has turned out nothing like it should, but you know what? Yeah. We'll pretend. We can... <laughs> that was the most... Failed attempt at a barrel that I have ever, ever seen, but let's ignore it. Let's just leave that. We'll even put a door here just to make sure that it's somewhat hidden. There. Alright. No one go down there. <laughs> Nobody go down there. By the way, actually, I, uh, I put in some cauldrons here at the bottom and filled that up with water. Just because. No real reason, but because. And now what I want to do is I want to quickly head over to our other underground cellar, which is in here. And I want to check how this looks in terms of how big we can go. Because I get the feeling we're going to run into either our mushroom area. So our mushroom... What? Why am I stuck there? Uh, our mushroom farm. Well, not farm. Or our, um, our tunnel. Or the uh, flat of forest, I think. So if so, we'll probably just come above it, I would imagine. Okay. Alright, is this the florist? This this will be the mushroom area. So I'm willing to say if I get rid of this, that will be the other side if I've got these blocks over here. Okay, well, yep, yeah, there we go. That proves it. <laughs> that proves it. So for down here, I was planning on putting in a bit of a, uh, 
a barrel type thing, but I'm guessing I'm probably just going to put in a whole lot of chests that will really... Oh, okay, we're going to have to do a bit of hiding of stuff. Yeah, basically we'll put in a bunch of chests of hidden items and stuff like that uh, in here. I'm going to have to be smart about this. How do we do? We'll, we'll maybe just fill this up. Okay, that won't work, of course. That makes sense. Uh, in here, that's kind of taken away. That can go in there. Okay, cool. We can we can hide this stuff fairly easily. Perfect. So if we push that, still works. Yep, good. All right. So I guess that will be this barrel, which will be this not barrel. Man, if I say that word again, I, I really should not be allowed to use the word barrel ever again. We're not building any more barrels <laughs> after my failed attempt at barreling. Uh, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll clear this area out and I'll probably just fill it up with chests and stuff like that. Alright guys, so I just had a look at the time of the episode and it looks like we are pretty much done with this episode in terms of time. So I wanted to just quickly tell you guys what we're going to be doing in the next one. What I'm planning on doing is at least going back to fixing this, this tower here quickly because it is a, a bit of an eyesore. And I think we can very quick, very easily and very quickly fix that one. And I think it's it's important to have everything sort of finished over there. Then I've also got another project which I want to start over here, perhaps. We might see how we go uh, on timing next episode, but I want to start the project because it's a, a fairly large one. And in fact, we've got either that one or I've got another one to go over there. So surprises on both, but they're both pretty awesome. And we'll probably get started on one of them in the next episode. So I wanted to just say thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.